Hello, amazing learners! Welcome to another exciting math lesson. Today we'll learn how to order and compare numbers up to 1 million and discover the value of each digit using some fun and real life examples. So grab your notebook, pencil, and let's dive in. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to compare and order numbers up to 1 million, find the value of each digit in large numbers, Apply what you learn to real-world situations. Before we jump into comparing and ordering numbers, let's get familiar with some important math words. These will help us understand and speak the language of place value correctly. Digit. Any one of the 10 symbols, from 0 to 9. Place value. The value of a digit based on where it is in the number. Unit. Ones the first place or the rightmost digit. Tens, the second place from the right. Hundreds, the third place. Thousands, the fourth place. Ten thousands, fifth place. Hundred thousands, sixth place. Millions, seventh place. Value, the actual worth of the digit based on its position. Words, writing a number in word form, says 230, 230. Numerals or figures, standard number form, says 675,320. Notation, the method or system of writing numbers. Feel free to pause the video and write these down in your notebook. These terms will come up again and again in this lesson and many others. Let's start with this real life example. Here are the populations of three cities. City A has 850,120 people. City B has 920,000. City C has exactly 1 million. Which city has the largest population? Let's think about it. Pause the video, write them down, and order them from smallest to largest. And feel free to post it in the comment section below too. Yes, City C because one million is greater than the rest. Now let's understand how place value works by breaking down a big number, 6,532,419. We'll look at each digit in this number and see what it really means, based on its place. Let's read it from left to right. The first digit is six, and it's in the millions place. So it's worth six million. Next is five in the hundred thousands place. That means 500,000. Then we have three in the ten thousands place, which is 30,000. The digit two is in the thousands place. That's 2,000. The digit four is in the hundreds place. So that's 400. Then comes one in the tens place, which gives us 10. And finally, we have nine in the ones place, just nine. Altogether, these digits make up the number 6,532,419. And each one is important. All right, let's dive into comparing two really big numbers. 999,000 and 1 million. At first glance, they look almost the same. Just one tiny difference at the beginning. But let's break it down and see what's really happening. Start comparing from the leftmost digit, the one with the highest place value. In 999,000, the first digit is a 9 in the 100,000's place. That's 900,000. But in 1 million, the first digit is a 1 in the millions place. That's 1 million. And guess what? 1 million is greater than 900,000. No need to check the other digits. Even though 999,000 feels like it's almost there, 1 million is the bigger number by exactly 1. Remember, always compare big numbers starting from the left, not the right. It's like reading a book. We start at the beginning. A quick challenge for you. Can you think of another number that's just a little less than 1 million? Feel free to post it in the comment section below too. 
Now it's time to put your comparing skills to work. Let's order these three big numbers from greatest to least. Example, 8,457,456, 7,563,420, Start by looking at the millions place. That's the first digit on the left. The first number has 8 million. The second number has 7 million. The third number also has 8 million. <clears throat> so, right away we know 7,563,420 is the smallest. Let's set it aside for now. Now, let's compare the two numbers that both have 8 million. 8,457,456 and 8,480,100. Now check the hundred thousands. 8,457,456 has 400,057,000 after that. 8,480,100 has 400,000 but 80,000 after. 80,000 is more than 57,000, so 8,480,100 is greater than 8,457,456. The final answer is 8,480,100, 8,457,456, 7,563,420. Try reading all three numbers out loud. It helps make the values more clear. Now it's time to practice. <laughs> Remember the golden rules. Read the question carefully. Pause, think it through, and write your answer in your notebook. And feel free to post it in the comments section below too. Let's begin. The populations of three cities. City A, 5,850,120. City B, 7,920,000. City C, 1,000,000. Question. Which city has the largest population? The answer is... City B has the largest population. Annual salaries. Doctor, 8,675,000 rupees. Engineer, 8,892,500 rupees. Teacher, 3,765,300 rupees. Question. Order the salaries from greatest to least. Answer. Engineer. 8,892,500 rupees. Doctor. 8,675,000 rupees. Teacher. 3,765,300 rupees. Here are the annual revenues of three companies. Company A. Rupees 1 million. Company B, rupees 985,000. Company C, rupees 999,999. Question. How much more revenue does company A have than company B? Answer. Difference between company A and company B equals 1 million minus 985,000 equals 15,000. So company A has rupees 15,000 more than the company B. Three friends have the following savings. Sarah, rupees 902,310. Hamza, rupees 891,000. Ariba, rupees 950,100. Question, write all three balances in ascending order. Answer. <clears throat> Ascending order. Rupees 891,000. Less than rupees 902,310. Less than rupees 950,100. A real estate company is selling properties. Plot A. Rupees 765,000. Plot B. Rupees 999,999. Plot C. Rupees 1 million. Question. What is the value of digit 5 in plot A? 
The answer is 5,000. Let's wrap it up, math stars. Today, you learned how to compare large numbers by looking at the highest place values, like up to 1 million, order numbers from least to greatest, and vice versa, identify the place value of each digit in big numbers, and connect all of this to real-life situations like city populations and property prices. Great work today. Keep exploring, keep practicing, and always remember math is powerful. Before we end today's lesson, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned using the three, two, one strategy. Three things I understand. What are three concepts or skills you feel confident about? Two things I need to practice. What still feels tricky? One question I have. What are you still curious about? Write it down or drop it in the comment section below. Excellent work today, math champs. You've done a fantastic job learning how to compare and order big numbers. <laughs> You're truly becoming number experts. And remember, math is all around us. In the money we spend, the buildings we walk past, and even in the people we count. If you found this lesson helpful, don't forget to like the video, comment below with your thoughts or questions, Subscribe to the channel for more fun and easy math lessons. And share it with your friends who love learning too. Thanks for learning with me, and I'll see you in the next lesson.